Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm late today. I am 20 minutes late for this stream, which is lame. I had some serious computer issues today, so I've just been waiting for the computer to like figure its junk out <laughs> so that I can get online. And while it was, you know, restarting, I um I just kept going with this little girl that I'm doing. Um yeah, I have uh thinking a lot today among, you know, all my <clears throat> you know, chores at work. Just been thinking about some things and honestly I need to like pull my thoughts together. I've been going, going, going ever since I left the house today. And um at some point I was listening to this podcast. Um that got me thinking. And it was kind of earlier today that I was doing that. So I've kind of lost the, tr the, the train of my thoughts. But, oh my gosh, this paintbrush is getting me mad. I need to, I need to do something about it. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, my girlfriend, I have a good girlfriend who has a podcast and her, and it's, um, this is getting good. It's geared toward women. I'm just going to say so, but not entirely, I have to say, just women have certain Issues that, you know, oftentimes men don't have. They do sometimes. Especially when it comes to, like, our bodies, right? It's stupid. These issues we have. The, uh, sorry, I know you can't see. I'm trying to just clip off, like, these, this one little... Um, piece that's just sticking out. No, I got two in there. I'm just trying to like clip it off. Hey, <clears throat> how you doing, whole green? We're just talking about dumb body issues today because <laughs> I was listening to a podcast that like just got me thinking about you know where our heads are at and stuff, but anyway, um, anyway, so my girlfriend has this podcast, and she had the funniest episode today where she and her girlfriend, hey, Silver, oh, my rings, let's see, so I'll, I'll tell you where I got these, <clears throat> this is Larimar, and I got it Actually, I bought it in San Diego. It's only, they, it's you can only mine it in the Dominican Republic. And it's just my favorite. I just love it. This is a Sopata ring, Sopata. This is also Sopata. They have really high, pretty quality um, jewelry. This is also Sopata. This is just Amazon, but it's turquoise. And this one I got also in San Diego, in Old Town. They have a lot of jewelry there. So anyway. Thank you. Yeah, the Larimar is, um, you know, in Old Town in San Diego, they have a shop that just has a ton of it. But you can find it a lot, um, even though it's pretty rare, like the only place that you can, um, that they can get it. But I just, I just love it. <clears throat> so, anyway, so, uh, gosh, I'm trying to remember the, actually the train. Oh, so anyway, my girlfriend um, she, uh, the podcast is called This Is Getting Good, um, geared toward women and the thoughts we tell ourselves about our ridiculous bodies and, um, you know, whether or not you're in the body that you're happy in or not, you know, we still, you know, never are super happy about it. So she said, um, 
that they went camping and they went swimming up in this lake. Her and two of her friends who she considers to have, of course, what we all consider our friends to have, you know, better bodies than us and stuff. And so they went swimming and so my girlfriend was like really insecure about the fact that she'd have to like show her bathing suit and stuff and how, you know, she's like, you know, my friends are like super supportive and they super love me. I know that they would never think anything about me like that, but it just, you know, I couldn't get out of my head and I couldn't like live in the moment and just enjoy the fact that I was strong enough to hike six miles up into like the high mountains and, you know, be strong enough to do that. And yet I'm super insecure about like how I look in a swimsuit. And then actually, like she said, like the next day, oh, you have to listen to this podcast. It just cracked me up. She said the next day they, um, they left their packs totally i think it's oh, i think it's the women's um uh gosh it's the women's curse you know we there's always something about our dumb bodies that we don't like so anyway they decided they were going to hike around to the other side of the lake the next day leave their packs where they were camping and just go over there well they found this like super awesome uh cliff that they were like oh it'd be so fun to jump into the lake right here um, but they didn't have swimsuits or anything. And so these are like, you know, mid 40s women. And what they did is they just like stripped off their clothes and jumped off the cliff together. And she actually recorded the sound of them like getting ready. And one of them was like, don't look at me. And then, um, uh, you know, and then you hear them like laughing and holding hands and then they jumped off. Oh my gosh, my hand is shaking. Silver, my hand is shaking again today. Um, then they jumped off and you could hear them screaming. You could hear the, 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 um, the sound of the, <laughs> of them hitting the water below and just how much fun they had. And she, and, and so my friend was like, you know, I could have just been so wrapped up in the size of my thighs or whatever and totally not even had fun and just let that moment pass by. And I would have missed, you know, what a great opportunity just to let go and be in the moment. And so that's, you know, that's kind of, she's like, we just need to like stop, you know, thinking so much about what everybody else is thinking about us and just, you know, she's like, go, just go do all those things, take your pictures and, you know, be happy with who you are. Your bodies are strong and they're not forever. They're not even who we really are, except, gosh, it's so hard, right? I just hate it. And I, I mean, I'm as bad as the next person, you know, I, I have the worst, you know, eating disorders. It's just ridiculous. And I, I've always struggled with well, a variety of like mental health kind of issues because I'm just, you know, a crazy person. Um, bad childhood that I just can't, you know, seem to overcome, you know, just always, always is there. I think, I think that not being accepted as a young person makes you look for acceptance in all sorts of other places. And the easiest place that you can find acceptance is, you know, superficially, you know, sadly. So, I don't know. It's not a, it's not a great, it's not a great thing, but maybe by the time I'm 90, I will have moved past that. Anyway, you guys should check this podcast out. Like, literally, I was, um, yeah. All these well, special moments. It's like every moment, right? I mean, we don't want to miss any moment just because we're like wrapped up in what we look like or whatever. Yeah, it's just life. Life is happening while we're obsessing about what we look like in this dress or, you know, I'm not going out because I don't want to. Oh, my gosh. I went axe throwing with um, my boyfriend a few, like, I guess last year. And he was so excited. He took these pictures and he wanted to print them out. And he, like, put them up on my wall, which is fine because I'm the only one. Well, he sees them. But, like, I look at those pictures and I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, it's a tank top dress. And I just feel like I'm just oozing out of it all over the place. And 
I'm not. It doesn't matter even if I am. He loves the pictures, and I don't know why I'm like, Bleh. Anyway, so check the podcast out because when I was driving to work, I was just, it made my day. Like, I'm never in a good mood in the morning when I'm driving to work. And I was just, like, I just had the biggest smile on my face as I listened to, like, these these middle-aged women just having so much fun and just being, you know, happy with themselves. <clears throat> My friend's name is Kelly. I've known her for about 15 years. She started this podcast. This is her second season. And she is, I'm not surprised that she um, has this podcast because she's always got something really profound to say. And this is a forum that she can like (laughs) say these things and have people listen to her. And I know people do. It's just really cute. She she's um very dynamic she's got this personality that like draws people to her and always has and then she's wondering like why do you know i'm like it's because, you know well, she wonders like you know um she's ended up having some kind of like crazy people like kind of latch onto her and she's like what is it? i'm like it's your you know you've got this like like magnetic personality you just you know i the moment i met her i was like this is a person i want in my life you know and uh, she's just really, she's a photographer and she makes jewelry that she sells on the market, like for department stores. Um, her, she, she specializes in using like ancient coins um, in her jewelry. And then she really likes to put like themes to it, like something that has meaning um, to women for the most part. Um, and... Um, sorry, I'm like trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing now. I've kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, but that's a relatively new kind of opportunity or thing that she's gotten into the whole jewelry, but she's really, really creative. And, um, you can find her jewelry at like Nordstrom and, um, Dillard's, places like that. It's pretty, pretty awesome. The fact that she ended up being really successful at that does not surprise me at all. She's always been really successful at anything, at, at everything. And so, like these podcasts that she do, that she does, you know, she's no expert in mental health or anything like that. But um, she always has had just really, really awesome ideas. <clears throat> what else did she have to say? There, I just feel like there was something really important. I'm going to look up her podcast because I've just been kind of, it's been in the back of my mind all day and this is not the podcast. Oh, she was, okay. This is really the thing that I wanted to talk about. Oh goodness. My podcast. is Okay. So, um, so today she, I was listening to one of the episodes that she's done on fear, and she was talking about how um, how all of us have a fear, right? Um, have something that cripples us, and that we just can't, you know, either get past, or it's just like so much that we just can't. I don't know. It, it's paralyzing, right? I I have something in my life that's paralyzing. Um. And she and she talks about how, you know, everybody does, but the important thing is that if you want, if you want something bad enough, like whatever that thing is going to give you for for actually pushing through and doing the thing that causing you so much fear if you can push through it and you can see what you're going to gain from you know from doing the thing that's so scary then hopefully that can help you push through but for me it doesn't 
Silver says, we are, we are our own worst critics. I'm totally guilty of it. It's a huge reason why I'm single at the age of 50. I don't think anyone could like me the way I look. Plus, after gaining more weight since the pandemic, it's just amplified the feelings. I think now I have this I don't care mentality, which is why I've been showing myself on. Oh, you know, Silver, like, I am so jealous of you and the way that you have owned that. Like, I almost did it last night. I'm just, I am way, way worse. I must be way worse than you because I was shocked that you did that. Not because I wouldn't have done it, like, because, well, oh my gosh, look how she looks. I was shocked that, that, because I am scared of that. I am, I am not okay with myself enough that like how you know that i am just envious of people that can't i don't you, do you know what i'm saying i'm just it's just so hard to, you know i'm i'm almost there i'm almost ready <laughs> i can almost do it but it is so scary to put yourself out there you know i was thinking about my art like doing this and putting it out on the internet is terrifying because i i because it is so deep to me you know um when you create things when you create things it is man you put yourself out there for criticism or do people think that you're dumb or you, you know you love it so you you know you want to keep doing it but if people like say something to you about you know, your your art, like, it could crush you because what defense do you have? Uh, what defense do you, when you love the thing that you created and someone else is like, oh, yeah, that's cool. You're like, oh, I put my heart and freaking soul into this. And it's the worst. Uh, and so, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty like I'm, I'm pretty up not upset today just like so affected by this whole fear thing because the thing that I'm fearful of is something that I that was created in me from my marriage my my failed marriage right um I turned into this person because of my failed marriage and I have made so much progress since then but this one thing is just holding me back and it scares me so much to try to overcome it and I just always feel like such a failure because I just can't take the steps that I need in order to just move past it and I know that it's going to be so great if I can move past it but I've never been so <sighs> terrified in my life god don't make me I'm going to freaking cry on my own stupid stream. Ugh. Well, it's just been affecting me so bad today. God, I'm glad I'm not on camera. I'm, I'm not on camera. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, just, it's it's so terrifying to me to think about um, doing the thing. And I don't know if I can. And if I can't, then what does that mean? What does that mean for me? You know, does that mean I'm going to like always live like this or always or, 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 or eventually just feel like crap about myself because I couldn't, I couldn't do it. You know, I couldn't do that for myself. You know, am I not worth it? It's so, and so she's just like, you got to do it. You just got to take a step and, and, you know, <laughs> When I'm listening to this podcast about her, like, saying, own your fears and do what you, you know, and I'm like, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you don't even know how hard it would be. But I, I'm sure she does. Everybody has a thing that they're just terrified of. You know, mine is not spiders or whatever, moths. I mean, sure, yeah, like, that sucks and everything. But, like, that's not, it's not anything like that. It's a mental, like, an emotional kind of, like, fear. And that's just stupid, you know? 
I hate being controlled by my emotions. I probably should get emotional more often. I'm feeling pretty good about this little figure that I'm painting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, it's Anyway, sorry I got so crazy deep today. Like, it's just, it's just been what's on my mind. Oh, so this is a, I don't even really know, and I don't know if you can see her very well. Let's see. Um... Here, let me show you this. This is the figure. You can maybe see that, okay? I'm trying to like get it. Is that too close? Dude, I suck at this. The other day when I started it, I was trying to like show what she looked like so that you could see all the detail. And this is, okay, I'm gonna move this away so you can, can you see her better now? I don't really know what she is, other than it says Devandra Lucasia or something. Anyway, she she's some kind of like she's you know Reaper something like that. She's got a shovel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a Reaper. She's got a little shovel. And what else does she have? I'm trying. Like I'm trying to get a. I'm, I I've seen some um painters that have like the most clear camera and i am not sure like i didn't like pay crap for this camera i just i want you to be able to see so she's she's got a little bone and she's got a little thermos with a, with a she's going to bury bodies hmm well, okay, okay, that makes sense. I am trying to work this out because I love this little figure. I bought this figure. This is the first Reaper figure that I have purchased, okay? I, I watched this streamer who her her stream name is Reaper Miniature, and she actually does, like, the paint uh, mixing for Reaper. Yeah, like a Grim Reaper. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so she does the paint mixing and has been for many years and so she was talking about all their they've got some pretty cool little figures and so i was like oh i'm gonna you know check that out and so i so i got this one because i just i haven't done like a human like face figure kind of thing i haven't done a female yet i've done a bunch of like weird little things but i thought well this will be kind of fun and i found that these little these reaper miniatures are actually pretty well made and um uh, got a lot of detail that I really still need to work out. Like here along the dress, there's a bunch of detail along the shovel. There's a lot of detail in the front and the back here along her dress. It's just, and her hair is really textured for being so small. There's a lot of texture and I'm really enjoying, and she's practically painting herself. And I've heard that with, with good, with good miniatures. Hey babe. <clears throat> I'm done being emotional. I'm not going to cry anymore or at all. Reaper is a person or machine that harvests crops. Well, yeah, in the true sense of the word. But like, she's got a bone. She's got she's got a little bag with um. Yeah, I think we should go with the bodies because she's got this bone hanging on her. I don't know what the bottle. There's a bottle back here. 
this little um, green bottle. And then she's got a bottle up here. I don't really know what the bottles are for. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I could barely even see these bottles. It was really, really, really challenging to to see. So anyway, um, where was I? What was I even doing? <laughs> I think I was doing some highlighting on her dress. Um, yeah, anyway. Silver, do you do you listen to podcasts? Do you ever do that? Because if you do this this one, you might you might really enjoy listening to her. She's she um gosh she's really got she's got a lot of thoughts. She's always been like a real thinker. I always kind of was like wondering where she had time. F4G38. What is that? F4G38. All right, I'm going to put some. I keep getting like. I think I need to dry brush this first. Am I ready for that? I'm not sure I am, actually. Yeah, I got myself worked up today. Babe, sorry. You missed it. <laughs> you missed it today, anyway. Oh, oh that's funny. Did you see that I, I friended you on Steam yesterday? At least I tried to. Oh, okay, good. Okay, gosh, I'm loving how this is turning out. She's just this is pretty amazing. Okay. I will tell you all about it later, later. Okay, I'm gonna need to really, this is gonna be darker in here. The light is not in the right place. That was messing with the, the figure. New world. What, what's that about? What game is that? Uh, is it like kind of like the one you've been playing? Because that one looks pretty amazing too. Um, oh, I was gonna dry brush some things. What paintbrush to dry brush with today? Maybe this one. Don't know. And what? What color? I don't want to do, hmm, oh, yeah, okay, I kind of looked at a few of those, and, um, um, like, I was looking at one of them the other day, 
and it was it was a space MMO. I can't remember what it was called. You probably even know what I'm talking about. And it just didn't sound interesting to me. I mean, you know, it seemed pretty popular, but like just didn't really, I don't know. What is my kind of game? I don't want to just play Minecraft for the rest of my life, even though that's pretty space MMO. Yeah. I like I like Minecraft, but like I, you know, might eventually want to like branch out, right? Um, hmm. I'm wondering if that's not going to be that color that I'm trying. I need to dry brush this, but it in order to dry brush, you have to like try to get some contrast. Oh, that's too much paint! Crap! I just almost. I just ruined it. Gosh damn it. That's what I get for trying to go too fast. Now I gotta fix it. This is the wrong paintbrush. What's wrong with me? Fix the, fix the problem. That's the wrong color too. What is this color? Where it, where is this color that I made? Oh, it's this one. But this is all dried up. Why is this dry in my wet palette? Ugh. Um. My friend, Kelly, the one who hosts that podcast, she she's interesting. She When I first met her, she was quite heavy, her, and um, was, I mean, she's an amazing cook, baker, whatever. She really was into Barefoot Contessa, would always make, like, stuff. She'd always host these parties where she would just, like, knock us over with her baking and stuff, you know? Awesome. And, you know, the woman loves butter. Like, who doesn't love butter? Like, I love butter. Anything you can put to make, you know, to just get the butter in you is, like, good. Anyway, but, you know, she didn't really have an, an activity that she liked to do for exercise or whatever until, um, you like, yeah, I love Zelda. That's fun. But I want to play, like, with other people. Like, Zelda's fun, but I bet I don't play Zelda a lot because I don't, I get, I get lonely. I like to play with other people. That's probably why Minecraft is so much fun for me. Like, I don't, I mean, I play sometimes by myself, but I prefer to play with other people. Anyway, Silver, so she, um, uh, I don't know, maybe, like, seems like eight or nine years ago, she started riding her bike because she was like, I don't know what happened, but she just started to realize how much she enjoyed that. And she started challenging herself. And, you know, we live on the side of a mountain. So there's lots of opportunities to like really make it hard. I mean, riding a bike up a hill is like the biggest suck fest ever in the world. And it wasn't long before she just was killing it. And she lost so much weight, so fast. Um, and now, um, so she, and she would do like these spin classes. Um, and she loved them. Like it was just, she just loved it. And then this place called Torrance Cycle moved into town, downtown. And she started going and just gushing about it, how much she loved it. And that was, you know, she went for a couple of years. And then you have to apply to be uh, an instructor for them, like to actually run the spin classes. And she she applied, didn't get in once, and then um, tried again. And, and now she's an instructor. I mean, she is in incredible shape now. Um, but, you know, still just never going to be super satisfied. We're always going to be our 
to be judges of ourselves, right? So that's kind of what she was talking about. Like, um, it's she was like, I have to own my body type. <laughs> oh wait, okay. So this is the one that I want. This color here, and so when I dry brush, I've got to get rid of most of my paint. Did I get any paint on it at all? That's the question. Monster Hunter World. Yeah, I, I I die pretty fast with most things. It's okay. It's just who I am. I'm dry brushing this little bit of texture just to bring out these little things in her in her dress. I'm not, I don't have enough paint, which is weird. Why do I feel like my brush is like, like it's dry brush? Like it's like, <laughs> I don't, like there's no paint in here at all. So I got this new palette. And this, it's it's so thin, it just rips, it's pissing me off. I need to like replace it with wax paper or something because it's just ridiculous how it just tears. Okay, there we go. It's really hard to get those little edges. Okay, and then here I got that okay, but I wanted a little bit more. Oh, there we go. There we go. Then I'm going to do back here and because stop shaking, do here. It's a really hard one to get into. There we go, but it's a little bit too much, but I can I can fix that. Okay, here just a tad, just to bring out the oh 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 here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cross these a little bit. Just highlight the folds of that dress. It's really cool. I love this dress. It's super cute. It's weird that it's flowing so much and her hair isn't. That's weird. <sighs> yeah, but magic could keep failing on us and just kind of bummed. Diablo-esque, top-down, isometric. I don't know what that is. That's a lot of words. Um, okay. Done with the dry brush. need to fix her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Torchlight's pretty fun. I like that. I think Magicka is more fun. It's also a little more difficult. Like, with the spells and the stuff. But, like, more experience would really be good. Especially if I don't die, you know. That'd be great. Dying is not so great. Okay, I need to work on her face a little bit more. So she needs a little bit more color. Up in there. I don't want to use too much pink because, um, dude, um, because our faces aren't pink, but 
she doesn't really have any pink. I mean, she just kind of looks like, you know, she's dying. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to put some pink on her cheeks. If I can not screw it up because I'm shaking. I ate today, by the way. I had a salad. I made a salad for lunch. It had, it was weird because I, I ran out of ingredients. It had lettuce, <laughs> of course. It had two hard-boiled eggs, because that's my main food. It had those green olives, put a bunch of green olives on it. I had a bunch of those, and I like those. So those, and I kind of think that's all <laughs> with a salad dressing. So I went to the store. I did buy some more tomatoes and cucumbers and things to put on my salad. But also I was kind of rushing. I was frustrated because yesterday I made my lunch to take to work and I left it at home. So that's what I ate for dinner. It's weird. Okay. I do not like this. I'm not loving it too much. Let's see, pink, I like, I like this color. This color right here would be good. A little bit of that. It's not wet enough. Need to get more color in there. Also, this wet palette is dumb because it's like drying out. None of my other wet palettes have done that, which is, I don't know why it's doing that. It's not supposed to. That's the whole point. Has a lid. Everything stays wet. Dumb. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to invest in a very, very nice, very pointy little tiny brush at some point. This one was not cheap, but it's also, maybe I'm just using it too much. I don't know. More pink. All right. Been kind of a long day. In my head. Oh, I'm glad you can see this well enough that, like, you would know that it needs more pink because what I'm looking at is just so small, you know. Um, but, oh, uh, yeah, that is, that's, that's good. That's good. I like those colors a little bit better. There, yeah. Yeah, I like the color of her face now better. What is that? Is that, that's hard to tell. Is that like her hair or is it her skin? I don't, I don't know. All right, now for her eyes, which are the tiniest thing in the world. Um, I don't want to use black. Do I want to use black? I don't know. <clears throat> okay, here we go. This is the smallest paintbrush I own, I believe. Pretty sure. 
but I feel like, I mean, this is a, this is a, this is zero, zero. Like, I feel like I need like a negative seven. <laughs> Do I have water? I have water on my brush. <clears throat> okay. Going in again. Oh, good Lord. Oh, Jesus, that turned out, like, horrendous. It's just so small. Can you see that? Like, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Like, where is it the best? Hard to tell. I think you guys can see it better than what my camera is showing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can I can fix it. It's just, you know, kind of a pain. Hmm. Okay, let's go super light. Yeah, but it is having weird having them there that long after all this time. Okay. All right. She looks like she just got, you know, hit with a baseball bat in both eyes. <laughs> That's really funny, especially her left eye, which is just like, she's like, dude, what'd you do to my face? So let's go back in with this little tiny paintbrush and fix it. So weird. You still have like oh, an hour and 20 minutes, right? This is hard. Uh, I was talking to, yeah, until he, um, to he's got to take the kids back. Okay. Face looks really sloppy. Like she got into the Kool Aid.
I'm streaming and I'll call you when I'm done. Little children. <laughs> yeah, Kool-Aid and being punched in the eye. It's just weird. I need to fix it though because it's too much. time is it oh I'm like way over my time but I kind of think I needed this today just because of all the stuff there is literally no paint on that Throwing my paintbrush around. I'm going to have to be done pretty soon. Much as I would rather just do this all night. Okay. That's looking a little more normal, little, except her. She's got a like really garish, like crazy smile. There, that's a little better. I don't know how much you can see of this, but. There, yeah, there she is. That's better. Yeah. Now we do need to fix the eyes a little. Not enough, but it's, it's a start. I should put a little dab of white up in there, but talk about hard. Let's see, let's just try it. Oh my gosh, my hand is shaking so bad. Like it's not, it's just, this is just such delicate work. I'm not even breathing. I don't want to. Okay, there was one. Okay. I'm really holding my breath for that. But also, I don't like that, but. Now she just needs a tiny dot in the black. In the white, I mean. Wow. Come on, don't think I've got any more paint on my brush. I went so light that I just don't even think there's much paint on it. Come on. That's just too much. It's going to, is it? Mm-hmm. 
There. That is going to have to be good enough for now. Yep, yep, that's good. Thank you. I think I need it smaller. I'm gonna have to for sure get a littler paintbrush. Okay. All right, I just have the highlight like the um wow. She I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm pretty happy with this. I have some glazing to do just for the highlights and stuff, but she's about done besides the base, which I need to do. Wow. Well, there's a little bit more I could do on it, but yeah, I'm pretty happy so far. <laughs> You're silly. Silly man. Um, all right, well, I have a million things to do that are not, you know, painting and just, you know, while I weigh my time, because I would literally do this all the time, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for joining me today. Um, hope you guys have a great evening. I'll see you tomorrow.